It's always something here in the region. We're going to warm things up. That's the good news. But wouldn't you know it, we've got a threat of some flooding as we have repeated showers and thunderstorms over the area. We'll detail not just the timing, but how much rain we're expecting coming up in this video. Welcome in everybody. It's Matt from Region Weather. I appreciate you joining our YouTube page here to view this video. A uh, couple things we're going to go over. I want to show you the big scale pattern change that we have that's really going to warm us up, uh, not just over the course of the next couple days, but really over the next couple weeks as it looks right now. may have a cool spell here and there, but overall just such a different pattern taking shape. Also want to go through the rainfall timeline as well. Uh, we've got a series of showers and thunderstorms that will roll through the region all the way through Sunday at this point. Uh, and that poses the flood threat that we're talking about as we may get showers and thunderstorms over the same area. Uh, and then we'll talk temperatures at the end of all this. So kind of comprehensive update here. First things first, though, if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, that is how uh, you get updates uh, when we go live during severe weather. That also shows us that this channel is something that you like uh, because subscription on YouTube is... Uh, a telltale sign of if you're producing good product or not. So uh, we would appreciate your support if you'd hit subscribe. Also, uh, leave us a comment. We read and respond to all the comments here on our YouTube channel. Uh, in terms of feedback, if there's something you'd like to see that you're not seeing, uh, go ahead and let us know. We'd be happy to hear from you. All right, let's dive into it. So here's the upper air pattern. This is at 500 millibars. Basically, this is the flow of air masses. What we've been dealing with over the last week has been a little lobe of the polar vortex that came all the way down to the south and hung out in the eastern half of the country, went back north and came back south again over the last few days. But it is heading on out of here. As you can see here, as we go through time, this is Wednesday into Thursday. Notice the cold air heading off to the north, but notice what we replace it with. This is the warmer air not just at the surface, but what we're looking at is in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. So that temperature can actually warm up above us as well. And that's indicative of some warming at the surface. So as we go through time, our airflow uh, it goes away from coming out of Canada. It turns more to the southwest. So our air starts coming from the central plain states. We know that's a warming wind. And then I'm just going to go through time here. You can see we have a little dip there on Sunday, Monday. This will be along a cold front. It'll briefly bring in some chillier air, but comparatively speaking, it's not bad at all. And then next week, this is kind of the new model that we've been looking at over the last couple of runs. Next week, there is a large ridge that comes into the center half of the country and it'll shift east. This could bring us widespread 80 degree temperatures. We may even, just kind of uh, a heads up, we may even have some 90s somewhere in and around the area. A little too soon for that, uh, but that is a real decent ridge coming in here, and it does look like a series of low pressures will head off to our north, and that will keep our flow generally out of the west or the southwest as we go into the latter half of next week. So a long warm spell here taking shape over the next couple days and really the next week or so. Okay, so now let's talk about the precip. We've got showers and thunderstorms that are going to develop as we bring that flow out of the Gulf. Uh, and we've got multiple rounds that are possible here in the region in terms of heavier rainfall and storms. So kind of want to give you that setup. I like this large view from, of the whole United States because this kind of shows the pattern. I'm not going to go too local on this. Uh, it's not the highest res model either. So this will kind of show the general pattern. So what we're looking at here, this is tomorrow night. We're going to see showers and thunderstorms that develop out in the plains. We've got a nice day in store tomorrow, increasing clouds late in the day. But what we'll be watching are some of these storms that will likely form out in Iowa and areas of Missouri. Those will roll, uh, roll in here tomorrow night into Thursday morning along a boundary. That boundary is going to be setting up with an area low pressure here. We'll likely have a front somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, and these storms, basically those are train tracks for storms. So we'll likely see a cluster of storms or several clusters of storms roll through here. Uh, again, late tomorrow night, and this is on into Thursday morning. So that will continue to produce ongoing showers and thunderstorms, not just as that cluster rolls east. We're now heading into Friday morning, but we'll likely see more development back on the backside of it as warm air is trying to make it north. We've got cooler air trying to push into the south. This is where that, we always talk about frontal boundaries, but that's really where the focus of showers and storms are. We'll likely see more clusters developing there. What I think is gonna happen on Friday, um, this has been pretty consistent with model runs and, and you know, if you have a lot of forecasting experience, you can look at these and say, oh, I remember when that has happened in the past. And what I think is going to happen if this holds true, 
The showers and storms that we have during the daytime on Friday will eventually sink down to the south and I think we'll bring actually a cooling wind off the lake so we may turn cooler here as we uh, head Friday afternoon, Friday evening as that wind turns off the lake. Showers and thunderstorms I think will settle down south. That boundary could still come north in future model runs but I do think we'll turn cooler and drier uh, on into your Friday and that's how we'll start our Saturday but what will happen on Saturday Another area of low pressure develops. This one's stronger. This one will head out. We'll have showers and thunderstorms that develop out ahead of it on Saturday. This will lift that warm front back into the area Saturday. So we do have a chance of showers and storms along the warm front. Some of those could produce heavy rain. And then one final kick of this system on Sunday. You can see that frontal boundary kind of taking all this moisture and shoving it off to the east. And that will set the stage for what is a much different week next week as we're not only going to dry out, this is Monday, this is Tuesday, this is Wednesday, we are still dry, this is Thursday, and what we'll have is a Bermuda High setting up shape on the eastern coast. This will bring the flow out of the Gulf. It will bring not just sunshine for several days, but some heat with it in advance of this big system that's going to zip by to the north. This will bring cold air back in behind it, but that cold air is not over us, it's well west of us. So it'll not only keep us warm, but it's going to heat us up and we'll dry out with likely days of sunshine uh, to start next week. So any heavy rain we get over the weekend, the good news is we'll have a good three, four chunk of days to dry out. Okay, so important question to ask is how much rain are we going to get out of all this? All the models agree anywhere from one to three inches. We'll take you through time here. I think the bulk of that is going to come with complex number one of thunderstorms and uh, some showers embedded in that. That will be on Thursday as we get the round one and then watch what happens round two there on Friday dropping perhaps another inch or so and then that final round this weekend puts us in the one to three inch category around the region I, I'm not going to get too zoomed in because again we'll get specific some of you looking at Lake County saying oh we're going to get less than LaPorte County not true this will vary as we go through time what we look through when we're you know three four five days out from an event is just a trend and you can see how that trend carries that rainfall rate through the region so likely some heavy rain our ground can take about an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rainfall before we start to deal with a flood threat so we're going to be kind of borderline with that but again some of these showers and thunderstorms if they train over the same area or we get the heavy rain and then another dose of heavy rain uh, we will likely have some flooding issues so that's my concern this weekend and again that starts Thursday but really ramps up this weekend especially Saturday night into Sunday with that final push of rain. Let's put out a post this morning uh, these numbers have been refined these are the latest uh, model guidance now but I, th I think our numbers from this morning are just fine as we're going to push into the 70s next couple days. Uh, tomorrow this is for your Wednesday though we're up into the 60s not a bad day uh, and then eventually we're into the 70s as we go on into Thursday Keep in mind, this is going to come with some rainfall, so that rain helps to keep us cooler. That's why some of these numbers are a little bit lower off to the north because it's uh, banking on a pool of showers and thunderstorms moving through. So if we get showers and storms and they last a good portion of the day, we'll likely hold near 70 degrees. If we get a little sunshine, we'll pop into the low 70s. Uh, but we stay warm. Look at that on Friday. There's that little cool down near the lake I was talking about with that north wind that may drop our temperatures lakeside. We'll still be warm inland, though. But look at the warmth all the way up to the Canadian border on Friday, another day in the 70s. Saturday's when we start on the cooler side, but then I think we'll warm up as that warm front heads off to the north. We could see mid-upper 70s in Newton and Jasper County. Meanwhile, we're still in the 70s for Lake Porter and to LaPorte and Stark counties. And then Sunday's the day out ahead of the front where I think we're going to pop our temperatures early, probably mid-70s. And then remember the showers and storms will move through, so that will cool us down. Monday's our cool spot maybe holding near 70, upper 60s or so, but we should have some bright sunshine working in. And this is a dry air mass that's gonna be moving in here Monday. And look at these numbers. This is the eye catcher here. Look at what's happening off to the north and the west. This is 70 and 80 degree temps continuing to build. This is that big ridge of warmth pushing in. So we're in the 70s on Tuesday. And as it looks right now, there's your Wednesday, perhaps in the 80 degree territory. And then Thursday's when that heat really starts to build. This is the Euro model, has us in the mid and upper 80s. Holy moly, next Thursday. Keep in mind, it's a little early in the model runs. This will luckily, likely fluctuate, uh, but this is why I would not be surprised to see some 90s if this ridge continues to build in. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it as we go into next week. The okay, final thing I wanna show you, I think this is so cool, 
and such a change over where we've been. So this is the dew point. This is a measure of how humid that air feels outside, right? We've got very dry air in place right now. You could still rub your feet on the carpet and shock yourself if you wanted to. There's virtually no moisture. I'm just gonna hit play on this. Watch what happens as we go in into the weekend. Here's uh, Wednesday into Thursday. Here's our first dose of rain as it's moving in. Look at the humidity returning. We go from drier to, uh, that's kind of humid around here on Thursday. That continues Thursday morning into Friday. We get a boundary that kind of squashes it a little bit further south on Friday. And then look at this weekend. We go into humid category. I mean, <laughs> it's going to get thick around here before we dry out next week. And we may bring humidity back thereafter with that big ridge. But uh, what a shock to the system, though. We're going to go from this dry winter-like air mass we've been in to some heat and humidity. How about that? Is everyone happy with that? We'll see. I'm sure some people will find uh, something to complain about in terms of that, but I think most of us are going to enjoy some warmth around here. All right, thanks for checking us out. A little longer video than usual here today, but I appreciate you if you watched all the way through. Uh, we certainly appreciate that. And uh, we'll continue to update you as we go throughout the rest of the week in terms of these showers and thunderstorms.